Thumbnails are one of the most important tools that you can have in your studio, whether you're a jeweler or just do any kind of metal work. But when you get into it, there are so many to choose from, and how do you pick which is right for you? Hi, I'm Melissa Muir. I'm a jeweler and a metalsmith, and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the different types of files that are available out there. Some of the very best files that you can buy are Swiss made. Vlorb is a beautiful little town in Switzerland where all Swiss files are made. So if you look at your files and it says Swiss made or Swiss or Vlorb, or you might have even seen it as Grobet Swiss, then that file was made in Vlorb. Formerly marketed in the USA as Grobet Swiss, they are now branded as Glardon Vlorb as they have been known throughout the rest of the world. They are made of a heat-tempered chrome alloy steel, making them the strongest and longest lasting file that money can buy. Glardon Velorb is a little bit of a mouthful, so from here on out I'm going to just call them Velorb files. Velorb files are also known as Swiss pattern files, a term that was developed a hundred years or more ago to describe those files that are made outside of Velorb, Switzerland. You may see many files called Swiss Pattern, but be aware, unless they are actually stamped Swiss, Swiss Made, Vlorb, or Glardon, they are not Swiss Made files. There are three main types of files, so let's take a look at those now. The first that we have are the Vlorb Precision Files. These are also known as hand files. This is going to be the most common file that you will find in a jeweler's studio. These are a little bit larger and they come in many different sizes, lengths and everything. Precision files are measured from the tip of the file to the end of the cut. So when you are ordering these files, the handle or the tang is not included in the measurement or the length of the file. The most popular shape for jewelers is the half round slim and that is because it is narrow enough to get into that nice inside curve of your rings. Other common file shapes on a jeweler's workbench include the flat, also known as pillar in Europe, the half round, and the barrette shape which is only cut on one side with the cut side being flat and tapered. Precision files have these tangs which are most commonly used with a plastic or a wooden handle that you would then purchase separately and attach yourself. Files are going to run anywhere individually between $10 to $45 just depending on the size, style, and the cut that you're looking for. Velorb needle files are a must for any jeweler. They look just like precision files, only they are much smaller than their larger counterparts. And just to be confusing, the needle files use a different standard for measuring the file. So in this case, the file is actually measured from the very tip of the file to the end of the handle. The smaller profile and sizes of the needle files allow you to get into much smaller and tighter spaces, which is quite desirable when you are working with smaller elements such as jewelry. You can also use them as is, or if you would prefer, use a variety of different handles that are available. Prices range from only about $6 to $10 per individual file, all the way up to sets starting at just under $30. The Lorb escapement files are also known as watchmaker files. They are very similar to needle files with the biggest difference in that they are much narrower and smaller than their needle file counterpart. You can recognize escapement files by their square shaped handle. Escapement files are used for getting into just the smallest and tiniest areas which makes them perfect for watchmakers. They are only made in one length, five and a quarter inches. And the length, like the needle files, also include the handle, but they are available in a variety of cuts and shapes. There's a lot more handwork involved in creating these finer files, so you will find that their cost probably is a little bit more than a needle file or a hand file. Now that I've introduced you to the three main file types available, let's talk a little bit about the cut. Most Velorb files are available from a 00, zero or a double aught or two aught cut, which is the most coarse, all the way up to a 6, which is going to be fairly fine. The higher the number, the finer the cut that you are going to have. 
The cut describes the number of teeth per centimeters. And you can find specific charts for these online all over the place. But just know again that the higher the number, the finer the cut. A cut too is by far the most popular that's available in the jewelry industry. You can kind of think of this as maybe like the sweet spot. So it's going to be coarse enough to do a lot of metal removal. However, it is still fine enough to leave a fairly fine finish that's not going to need a whole lot of cleanup. If you have a lot of metal removal, then you're going to want to look at something a little more coarse like a zero or a one or even a double zero. Now, if you want to do something that's a little more pre-polishing, then you're going to look at a cut four or a six even, and that's really going to take and smooth things out for you. When you buy a Velour Swiss file, you can rest assured that you will have consistent results from one file to the next with a similar cut. There is a special treatment option that's available on popular Velour hand and needle files. It is called Veltitan, and it is an extra step in the manufacturing process, a special coating that increases the hardness of the file from around 65 Rockwell to 72 Rockwell, making them the hardest steel files known. Rockwell is a standard for metal hardness used in all industries. You will see the yellow handle on my set here at the Val Titan Precision or Hand Files. However, for environmental reasons, the factory has opted to stop painting the tangs yellow and the yellow tangs will, will slowly disappear from the marketplace. And in the future, the Val Titan name will actually be marked on the file itself. The yellow tangs aren't really necessary to identify the Val Titan files, as you can see the difference in color between a Val Titan and the standard untreated file. The Lord Val Titan files deliver better performance on harder to file surface and are more corrosion resistant. One other neat feature of these files is that they are more resistant to metal accumulation in the teeth. A simple knock is usually all you need to remove the chips. While they work great on harder materials such as platinum and stainless steel, they will still perform beautifully on all metals. Prices range from around $15 to $45. Now here are a few other types of Velorb files. Hobbyless files. These were developed as a hobbyist file. In addition to a lower price point, these files feature an integrated handle. They are designed for the in-between jobs that are too big for needle files, yet require finer control than the larger, heavier files. The length of cut is 4 inches while the overall length is 8.5 inches. Hobbyless files typically come in two cuts. A double aught, which is extra coarse, and a number one, which is a medium coarse. Riffler files. These are specially shaped double ended files that feature a curve toward the point which allow you to get into tight, curvy areas that a normal flat file would not allow. Riffler files are really interesting, and if you have a project with a very hard to reach area that needs finishing, there really isn't anything else you would rather have. Available in cuts 0 for a coarse and cut 2 medium and in both 7 inch or 6 inch lengths. Priced individually or as sets starting around $125. Buff files. These are not really files per se, but rather a ceramic coated finishing and burnishing tool that are shaped like files. They actually feel a lot like silk. You would use these instead of emery sticks, fine abrasive papers, or stones for finishing work. The benefit of these is that they are shaped like popular needle files or escapement files and allow you to access hard to reach areas. Files can be purchased individually or as a set. Prices start below $20. Handpiece files. Additionally, specialty files include those for reciprocating handpieces for the flex shaft or a micro mortar. Four different shapes, pillar, bent, three square, and round, and two different cuts, zero for coarse and four for fine. Ceramic files. These are a newer line of files made of ceramic fiber. They come in different shapes, either round or flat, coarsenesses from extra extra coarse to fine, and various thicknesses and widths. They can be left and used whole, or they can be cut and shaped using a diamond dressing stone or wheel. The files are great for getting into corners and other hard to reach areas. 
While they are specially made to be used with the Bodeco reciprocating hand pieces, they can also be used with special tool holders for use by hand. The complete line of Valor files can be found at AutoFry. However, you may also be able to find certain pieces at different retailers as well. When you are buying files, be sure to look for that Swiss made stamp. That way you can be assured that your files were made in Valorb, Switzerland. <laughs>